All right, it's cardio challenge day 28. Every year I start the summer out by doing a 30 day cardio challenge. This year, unfortunately, I broke my femur in April. So my cardio challenge is gonna look a little different personally. I want you guys to join me. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I want you to show me what you're doing. 30 minutes a day of cardio for 30 days. Let's go. And in the interest of multitasking, I'm working on my hip, leg, mobility therapy, etc., and doing cardio challenge at the same time. So we're gonna do a little bit of a treadmill sandwich. I'm gonna do five minutes on the treadmill at 10, 10 degrees as fast as I can walk. And then I'm gonna go straight into pulling this weighted sled, we call it the circle sled, a bunch for five minutes with one hand, pull, 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 work on my quad strength, quad and VMO, all those connector muscles strength. Then I'm gonna go in and ride the spin bike, but out of the saddle as if I was powering up a big hill, into the rows, into the elliptical with no hands, capped off with another five minutes as steep as it goes, as fast as I can walk. Here we go, it's gonna be, it's gonna kinda suck. This is the last time you're gonna see me in this nice, relaxed, calm state. Everything from this moment forward is gonna be me with an elevated heart rate and lots of sweat pouring out of my body. I'm trying really hard not to limp. I have such a bad habit of doing this when I walk because that feels the best on my hip. But now I'm at the stage of recovery where my bones are strong enough I have to force the muscles to do what I want them to do, not what they want to do. So, might look foolish, but I'm practicing keeping my right hip out instead of in. Round one is complete. Not super challenging cardiovascularly, definitely challenging from a hip strength and technique standpoint. Here we go, moving on. Now I get to drag this weight stack like so, but I don't get to hold it like a normal human would right here, the easy way. I have to hold it here where I have to really grip it hard to keep it moving. Another good quad BMO drill for my slightly weaker leg. Fine, I'm barely even breathing hard. 10 minutes in. Here, David Wise with a recently broken femur is. But right behind you on the wall, staring at me, is Olympic champion David Wise. And every time I wanna like, you know, maybe take a chill set or dog a little bit, you know, relax. He looks at me and he goes, is that all you got? I've been in your world. of the way there. Rows are done, and I'm happy about that.
four fifths of the way there. Ah, and my leg hurts. I have de demoted myself from hands behind the back to just gripping, trying to keep my hips level as I walk because I was starting to limp extravagantly for these last couple minutes. Just focusing on keeping my chest level, hips level. And it hurts a lot, I'll be honest. Nothing like hip weakness to humble an athlete. 40 seconds left. Now the challenge is gonna be, that that's over, is gonna be not to limp for the rest of the day, having worked those muscles out so much today. Um, that's a wrap. I'm pretty excited about that on day 28, 30 day cardio challenge. Um, I think what I most want to do right now is go lay down with my foot elevated and ice it. But I still got to finish my weekly father daughter date with Nayeli. And then I have a speaking engagement tonight, so I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe I'll find an ice pack for during my travels. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you guys are working on your own cardio challenge. <laughs>